सो थैंक यू फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय दिस इज़ गोना बी अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो दर इज़ नो नीड टू गेट फ्लैबर गैस्टेड और रफल बाय वट एवर यू सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दिस इज द नेक्स्ट कबर्ड आई एम बेसिकली यू गोइंग टू यूज फॉर माई क्लॉजेट मशरूम फार्मिंग एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू रियली इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स सो डोंट हॉप ऑन टू अनदर वीडियो जस्ट टू वेट अप अ लिटल एंड लिसन टू मी सो what exactly i'm trying to say to all those people who are delhiites is that you're actually missing out on free money so uh, all those people who are in and around delhi this is the message for them go fetch your uh, spawns from this place called bagwani bhavan which is in janakpuri west delhi the spawns are super low in cost i have made several videos about them I would request you to go and watch those videos related to the mushroom spawns because those are really informative and I've also made a video of how you can actually drive uh, to this place called Bhagwani Banak Bhavan which is in West Delhi. So uh what I'm going to tell you is that first of all I actually ended up measuring this cupboard that you see in front of you this is going to be emptied and whatever mess that you see in front of you all of this is going to be removed so this again is going to be act as as I said for uh, closet mushroom farming each compartment as far as I see so I measured uh, the length and the width of this high the height and the width of this so they were 6 and a half feet by 3 and a half feet so uh what i intend to do is if you see the compartments there are 10 if you count them and then there is a drawer in which i have calculated that i can put about 12 to 15 kg of mushroom spawns so obviously i'm going to sterilize it properly after removing all these things so let's start off with the like uh, uh, the economic side of it each compartment is about 4 uh three and a half to four feet in depth so i can keep a maximum of four bags when i say bags i mean bags such as these ones i'm just going to show you one of the bags which i had kept about a week back so just have a look how beautifully the spawn is are growing in it is just slightly heavy so i'll keep it aside so at max in each apart compartment i can keep five bags so multiply it by 10 simple 50 bags each bag bag will give 3 kg of mushrooms that means about 150 kg of oyster mushrooms and that implies 200 rupees that's the cost uh, sales cost sales point price point basically so that implies about 30000 rupees right so from one cupboard and let's mellow it down let's push it down to half the value so if i end up making even 15 to 20000 from all keeping mushrooms in all these compartments i think it's a great great idea another good thing that is there uh, in terms of the placement of this cupboard basically is that there is a reasonably sized window which is about 2 feet by 3 feet uh in size right next to the cupboard so if the mushrooms need fresh air that's what i'm going to do open it up let the fresh air come in so i don't really need any fans or anything like that not even an exhaust fan of course so cupboard is actually a great option to go shrooms as they can be provided with darkness or light according to your own requirements with no efforts whatsoever so all you got to do is open up the cupboard and that's about it and you are done cupboards only need to be and there's another advantage they only need to be sanitized once in few weeks or maybe once in a month because you don't really get inside the cupboard with shoes on and all that and you keep the cupboards closed so there's uh, there's very minimal chances of contamination and too much of dirt, dirt, dirt and dust going in so eventually the conclusion that i wanted to come to is if you have an if you've got empty closet or closets go ahead start your shroom super micro scale farming right away don't think about it i think this is the right time all of us are working from home or at least most of us all those uh, people who are working from home and have uh, and the salaries have gone down because of uh, the fact that their companies could not pay them th the salaries they were earning in the pre corona era so start off with this as a hobby you know <laughs> 
I'm already doing it in the cupboard which is right next to it and I have made several videos on it please go into the list of videos you'll be able to cite those videos very very easily so this is what I wanted to share with you in this video I'll see you very soon in the next one until then and of course I'll keep you updated as soon as I have removed all of these and uh, sanitized it well enough and kept some bags in it so I'll show that video as well and uh, so stay, stay tuned for it until then God bless you take care keep smiling Peace.